And she happened today to be on the other side. I'm afraid she is not studying. So allow me to bring to this platform Her Excellency Pastor Dokas Digadi to just come. And because now I'm calling her as one of us, I want to give her a job to do. There is a prayer item that we did not pray for. And I want to request her to do that one in Jesus' name. This legion has been invaded by drugs and uh, all manner of things. And the boy showered. I know it is light in her heart. And I uh, want to request that we, she will talk to us and lead us in that prayer. Welcome, Your Excellency. Sorry. Thank you very much. If you can give God a crap offering, all of us. I want us to declare as we stand, the storm is over. I think we are men and the women of God. I want the clergy to declare the storm is over. The storm is Thank you. You may sit down. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, the Prime Cabinet, and all protocols observed. I know that we have just had a powerful word of God which has fed to our souls. And I just want to tell you, Your Excellency, the President, as a church, we are still standing firm and saying, this government is our government. And we are going to pray for it. We prayed, we fasted, and many people keep asking us why we continue to pray. And we continue to confirm to them what is birthed of prayer must be sustained and grown and sustained by prayer. And we are thankful because we see a president who fears the Lord. And one of the things that the Lord Jehovah's God says in Psalm 25, verse 12 to 14, he says, who is that man that fears the Lord? Because that man will be able to live in prosperity all his life and not only him even his descendants will inherit the earth and above that the secrets of god will be revealed to that man and we are thanking god as we stand in this state lodge sagana when we were praying Many people thought it was a joke. But God has answered the prayer of the faithful. We have a great president who is working and has been asked to pray for those who are in, in drug and substance abuse, I want to stand here and really thank you, Your Excellency, for the support and the fight that you have put for those ones who are selling drugs, those who are causing our children to be in alcohol. I can tell you the church is standing with you, and we have decided from Everywhere in the 47 counties, we are going to fight with these drug monies until we bring our children back to their dreams and validate them so that our children can become economic drivers. There is nothing like when the entire young generation, it is packed in the streets and in the gutter while the economy is going down. We also know, as you are fighting to make sure that the, uh, we, we are getting better prices in uh, tea, in um, coffee, in milk, in dairy, in pyrethrum, and all that, we know that right now, the economic drivers are those ones who are in the gutter. 
And we have said we are going to come together as a church and we are going to bring these children back into the driving seat because that is the future of our nation. Let me also be able to pride myself in the president. You know, many of you do not want to speak concerning the many works that he has done. We are just sitting back and hearing there is nothing that has been done. Let me tell you, right now, in the Hazara Nation, we have a loan that is going to every one of them, and you don't have to intervene for us. We just go to the phone, and millions of them are now enjoying a very simple way of getting a loan. And that is why you see many of the hazards are doing their hazards without a problem. Can you clap for our president? <laughs> Here in the mountain and all the other in the Rift Valley, in the Western and everyone, he called on us that it was going to rain. We prayed and the rain came. And the next thing we saw is that he gave fertilizer for 3,500. Now he's going further to give fertilizer for 2,500. So we are asking from this platform. And the next year we are still going to get even better harvest because the farmers now can make more money. You know, sometimes it's good to say how it is. He sits there, he's working, he works day and night. I see them day and night, they are working. And, but we never say what is happening around there. Our president is not sleeping to make sure that this economy turns around. And we really want to thank you. We want to appreciate the good work you have done. It is good always to appreciate what has been done. And that is why we have come onto this service to say thank you to God and also to thank you for leading us to this very space. And the church says, now we can stand and pray for our children. Gracious and everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, we glorify you. This nation belongs to you. Father, you have given us a chance to be able to do what is right. And so we stand here to claim back our children from drugs. We were in Akuru, we pray that Lord God Almighty, that by your mighty hand you may lift our children from gutter, from alcohol, from substance abuse, to um, oblivion where the boy child has been left. And Father, this day we come to thank you. Because as we go to the streets, dear Lord, they are not falling and dying like dogs, oh God. But now they are starting, oh Jehovah God, to be realigned with their destiny. We want to thank you. We want to glorify you. We want to thank you, Jehovah God, for the president. And Father God, the way he has taken it seriously to bring back, oh Jehovah Father, an economy that was in shambles through you, oh dear God, and through the people that you have given to him. I pray, Lord God Almighty, as the space opens, there will be employment for the people who are being rehabilitated in various rehab centers, oh God. We pray, oh Jehovah Father, that we will start to see the opportunities that are there and bring our children to be able to work. Our Lord and our God, are you not the one who said that you will teach our children the way they should go and they are but then their peace is with them. Father God, we call even those ones, oh dear Father, that sit, oh God, and plan evil against our children. We pray that you will turn their minds around and you cause them to have mercy. And I pray that, Lord God, they too shall be saved and they shall start to do the right thing, oh God. Our Lord, today, we have had a great service. And I believe that even those who are in drugs, they are closing over. 
this time we claim our boy child. We possession him in the mighty name of Jesus. In the place of leadership. We possession him where his dream shall be valid. His vision shall be clear. Our Lord and our God we pray for the boy child once more. That they will be fathers in the name of Jesus. We pray that our boy children they will be leaders in this nation. In the name of Jesus. We pray together O oh Jehovah God. God, even with a girl child, the Lord God, the male and female, will stand side by side and become productive. They will come right, become righteous. And in you, dear Lord, we shall see a glorious nation where the youth become the people that lead their nation in economics, in every area and every sector. We pray that, Lord God Almighty, because you have heard this prayer. And Father God, you have brought our children back to the alignment, divine alignment. We will praise you and we will continue to testify of the great things that you are doing. You will do and you will continue to do. For this we pray in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. And if now we can just put our hands together, we want to... Now turn over the other side. And we want to give this uh, mic. If you can come and uh, hand over to the other side. You see, there are two sides. You may be seated, please. Yeah, so that was a service. And we thank God for all of you who have come and whether you know Mount Kenya is always this cold, and I can see all of you now are warmed by the word. Welcome to Mount Kenya. <clears throat> thank, thank you. Let's appreciate Her Excellency Pastor Dr. Dokas. We want to do a hymn as my brother, Mr. Michael, 